guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we are going to be making, well not waffles, but this is a waffle maker. I've never had a waffle maker before, and the only time I've ever used one was at like a hotel restaurant, and then it overflowed, and it was just a disaster. So I thought, I think I need one. But we're not making waffles in the waffle maker today. We're gonna make an omelet! So let's unbox. This is like part unboxing, part cooking video. The best of both worlds. So I like that these have removable plates, so I can just throw these in the dishwasher after I make a mess. Oh, 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 look at this, super fancy, doesn't feel very fancy. <laughs> Nice fit. Well, I guess I'm gonna wash these first because I'd like to try my omelet and I feel like you should always wash things when you first get them because there's formaldehyde, there's rat poop, poison, very dangerous substances on your items. Okay, fresh and clean. Uh, I threw my directions on the floor. So I'm just gonna have to try to figure this out using my own small mind. Only operate with grids in place. It's like a puzzle. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, whoops. Okay, this is easy. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. It looks good. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh. I don't talk about it. Everything worked out perfect and easy. So, we're going to make an omelet today in the waffle maker. So for our omelet, of course, you're gonna need eggs. And I'm actually really good at making breakfast. I've never made an omelet like this, but one day I will make an actual real breakfast video for you and you guys will see that, yeah, I'm pretty good. We're gonna be using a nice Mexican blend cheese today for our omelet. I wanted tomatoes for my omelet, but these were the only tomatoes that they had on Amazon, so they're little tiny ones. So we'll just try to figure out and see what we can do with that. Well, I think that's about all we're gonna have in our omelet. <laughs> Maybe a little salt, a little pepper, some basil, a little bit of garlic. We're gonna make it super spicy. I wonder what power I should put it on. Do you have any recommendations? Extra high. Really? No, medium. Okay. So two? Yeah, we'll do two. So usually for my morning omelets, I like to do two eggs, regular, and then one egg white. One egg. To you. I smell burning. It's probably the freshness of this Hamilton Beach not sponsored video. It's not. I bought it on Amazon. Go figure. Hey Justine, do you uh do you leave the house now? Do you? Probably. So in my omelets, I like to add a little salt. Or a lot. More or less to taste. Some pepper. That looks good. Some basil. Mm, that's a little much, but that's all right. Garlic, because why not? Make sure you don't have any hot dates tonight, baby. So let's whisk this up. This smells so garlicky. I think I might have overdid it. Uh, hmm, hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the cheese just in it. Nice Mexican blend cheese. Ooh, delicious. If there's one thing that I've learned about anything in life is you need to always spray the pan and spray it well. well I'm gonna pour this in. Holy moly. Okay, I forgot the tomatoes. Okay, here we go, close it up. Oh God, oh God, the egg is, I don't know how long to do it. Do I flip it? Is there a reason that I flip it? Why do I flip it?
This is not what I expected to happen. Guess I'll just shave off the side of our omelet. But how long do I, I think it tells me when it's ready. I mean, it's kind of hard to burn eggs. This sounds like my worst nightmare. God, this is the wrong way. Okay, it's, it's like, I'm gonna unplug it. Oh shoot, I don't even know, I'm not sure. Okay, wait. Oh my God, what do I do? How do I get my freaking egg out? Shoot. Oh my God. It actually, for all that, it's looking good. I need a plate. Wow. How do I get this out now? Oh! Wow, wow. Okay, so here's the thing. I think it worked, but I'm also a little bit concerned because usually when you get like a new item, like the first thing that you cook, you really shouldn't really eat it, but what do you think? I think it looks good, right? It good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I think the problem was putting in the tomatoes at the end because I think those got a little bit inflated. I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm pretty happy with the result. I might as well just take a little taste of it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Oh my God, it's delicious. It's actually really, really good. It's like almost the perfect omelet. Like I'm not even, this is, this is me being 100%. This is, is your right hand? I think that this is a delicious omelet. I'm happy, I'm very happy with the, the outcome. It looks awful, I would definitely not serve this to guests, but if you're ever in a bind and you're like, wow, I really have a waffle maker and I wanna make eggs in it, this is what you could do. So, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me actually try to make a real omelet and show you basically what I make every morning. This is not what I make every morning in this, but it's kind of the same thing, just on a pan over there. All right, we'll see you guys later. Hope you have a wonderful day. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm.